Fighting with people can be really tough, but fighting with your boyfriend is like even worse. You don't want to fight with your boyfriend because you like them and you want to stay together with them and fighting really sucks. How I've dealt with fighting before, did I do anything bad in this situation? Did I mess up? I don't think I did, so it's all your fault. <laughs> As humans, we don't want to take the blame. We don't want to accept mm -hmm. our mistakes, but like, at some point we have to. We have right. to accept that we I, I screwed up. Put yourself in the other person's right. shoes. And show some empathy. You need but. to stay calm and be as nice as you can. It's hard for me to stay calm. <laughs> me too. I get really mad and really mean. I'm not you a mean do. person. She, she's mean. <laughs> you forgive, but never forget. Because it all adds up. Yeah, girls, we never forget. We never but guys, forget. they forget. I'm like, remember that one time we already thought that. about this? And they're like, what? <laughs> but if you are miserable in the relationship because you are fighting so much, do yourself a favor and get out of it because you don't need to do that to yourself. When you fight, you have to have communication. You have to talk to each other about it. You can't just be like, I'm mad at you. When the guy is like texting you saying, are you okay? Don't be like, I'm fine. Like, no, just tell them. <laughs> tell them what's wrong. The best way to confront someone or to communicate with someone is not through texting. Uh -uh. It's either in person, that's the best way. But yeah. if you can't do it in person, calling them on the phone or even FaceTiming or Skype, you have to have good communication. That is right. the key. Everyone fights and it's a normal thing to fight. But the hardest part about it is moving on. It's up to you and your significant other to work things out and move on.